Hello, hi everyone. It is a Vlogmas day three. My name is Amanda and this is my channel, Ace Creates. And we're doing Vlogmas this year and it is now day three. It'll probably be a little bit quieter day, although my daughter and I are going out for her doctor's appointment later today. So we might go to a park beforehand, go to the doctor's, tire her out, and then make it home for her nap. Although her doctor's appointment is at just an awful time. It's at 1130. And so nap just might get disrupted. So that's why I'm saying we're not probably going to do much today. Um, so yeah, I am here. I lit a candle. It's a quiet morning. Uh, I got up later than I wanted to. Uh, we're doing just uh, a little bit of editing. I didn't get Vlogmas Day 2 finished last night before bed. I stayed up late, but then my laptop died. And then I was going to sleep. And I planned on waking up early, but my daughter woke up in the middle of the night and I didn't end up making it back into my room with my alarm. So my poor husband probably woke up early with my alarm. <laughs> Some coffee and we'll just get going this early morning. It's also my brother's birthday, so I'm gonna have to call my brother. So. Being a tiny human out of the house anywhere on time is like literally impossible, especially when that tiny human does not want to wear pants. <laughs> And so we had to put on a dress for our doctor's appointment. We're gonna hopefully have time to go to a park before the doctor's appointment, but we'll see. Off we go. So my daughter and I are here at a park a little bit before her doctor's appointment. I figured we could kill like a half an hour. So she's having fun on the slide and mommy's gonna get a, a couple rows in hopefully. Teddy bear coming. Teddy bear! Teddy bear's turn! Now Mina's turn! Good afternoon. Uh, it is now one p.m. at my house. My toddler is down for her nap and I am going to stitch. I'm trying to decide if I'm actually gonna frog those two pieces today or if today is just gonna be a crafty day. Um, I just got back from my toddler's two-year-old checkup and she's measuring off the chart. She's super tall, like 99% tall. <laughs> tall, uh, 37 inches tall, um, and I am not a tall person. My husband is not a tall person at all. So, um, we got back, we put her down, and now it's like a little quiet time. I got the vlog out and scheduled and out. I got the reel out today, so that was good to get off the plate. It was a little bit of a longer one. Um, because I spent a while going through whips yesterday. Uh, so I kind of don't want to make this one too long. So this might just be a little crafty update. Uh, but I might frog later tonight. I kind of want to craft in the sunlight, uh, in the daylight. And then do the frogging in, in the evening after she's gone to bed. Um... We're considering going to like a bunch of places for like Christmas lights. Um, my husband has like a list of places, although it's kind of like all over LA, which I think is pretty ambitious. So I'm thinking maybe we try one of those places. That way our toddler can see like a Christmas tree and Christmas lights and all that kind of fun decorations. We have plans this weekend to go to like a winter wonderland um here in the valley uh that has like prizes for kids and pictures with santa and snow so that'll be fun so 
Let's drink some coffee, catch up on some vlogs, and... So my goal today with the Lania is to get to 100 rows, which puts me close to like the finish line. Um, we're on day four of my seven day challenge. I'd like to get this done by day six so that I can block it and then bring it to the store on Friday. Um, I am almost done with, it doesn't look like it, that's the second skein. Right now I'm alternating skeins. I'm almost done with this skein. I have noticed that it didn't really pull, so I'm debating whether I'm gonna attach the third skein and keep alternating. I don't know. Should I play Russian roulette? <laughs> uh, I think I could see it in like two or three stripes if it looks bad. Because I just, I hate alternating skeins in Tunisian. It just makes that first stitch just either loosey-goosey or super tight. It's not even. And then it makes my first row uneven. So I don't know, I'm debating it. So I do want to get to 100 and I also want to finish this skein. It's totally doable. So let's get to crafting. <laughs> We have this much of the first skein, so I will definitely be able to get the skein done today with six more rows, which I'll probably do later tonight. Yep. I also double checked the pattern um, because I wanted to make sure like what I had remembered in reading was correct and where I needed to get to before the pattern changes again. So I was I was in a good spot, so still on track to hit 100 rows today. Maybe even exceed 100 rows, but I'm not gonna put that much pressure on myself. Um, and yeah, we'll, we're getting there. I'm gonna go wake up my daughter. It's her nap time's over. Then we're gonna do a bunch of laundry. Um, my husband did most of the laundry yesterday, but my daughter had some accidents um, and I didn't realize her diaper had like busted and was leaking <laughs> in our bed and on my pillow so <laughs> I had to go change all that so uh I also think it's probably TMI but my dog had peed in the house the other day and I thought I cleaned up everything but I think the blanket like a blanket that drapes our couch had absorbed it because I keep smelling it. So, anyways, that's the cat. I'm doing some laundry. Say hi, Punky. Punk, punk. Hi, sweetie. daughter loves reading all her books but she also likes to make a mess of them and so it's like a daily struggle of pulling out a hundred books okay I'm exaggerating but 30 35 books and then reading them you know like toddlers do and then never putting them back so I'm going to put them back in her storage oh. yeah books mommy's gonna put your books back You want Elmo? Yeah. There you go. Can you eat your sandwich? Peed the cat is like one of her favorites. She loves Pete the cat. And I don't do this every day. Um, some days I just leave the books in the room and just let it be. Um, but I probably do this two or three times a week um, where I like go in and organize them. Um, and then I try to rotate out. We have two storage cubes where we've got more books, but they're like a little bit older. 
um, and so I try not to have too many options. I mean, it's still a lot of options. There's probably like 50 books in this one IKEA like storage, just one QB of the four QB we have here. Um, but I try to switch out books for her um, every few months, um, especially as she gets a little older and chooses to do some more of like the non just like one word stuff um you know something like this she still likes and she likes to find things but she also likes to read the longer form stuff like story pete the cat um so i just like to change it out every once in a while she still loves all these like sesame street look and find stuff Maybe she wants it right now. Um, she loves like trucks and farm stuff, old McDonald. Um, so yeah, just organizing and I'll actually pull them all off the shelf because then I can get them all organized by size. So that's all her books. She's got a couple, but that's all her books. Now it is time for us to strip her bed so that we can clean up any pee and then do that load of laundry. And then I'll see if my husband is still interested in us going out and doing all the lights. If that's the case, we won't go to the park, but if that isn't the case, then we'll probably go to the park down the street and play for a little bit while we wait for daddy to get done work. a while to go down I fell asleep <laughs> and so it's now after nine and thankfully um, I pretty much caught up on the shawl I only have two more rows until the hundred row goal but I just started thinking about like the length and the finished object and then I just started double checking gauge and everything so that's what I was doing so I'm, I'm almost at stitch gauge I'm at 16 stitches and it's 15 stitches it's not blocked so it'll grow so I'm pretty sure I'll be at the 15 stitches once it's blocked and I'm double checking my row gauge so I'm at, I'm at 15 stitches for row gauge, which pattern is 12, which would explain why I feel like it's not like big enough yet, but I'm also at like 100 stitches and, or not 100 stitches, like I'm almost at 100 rows. And I still have a skein and a half, practically, of yarn. And so, and it did say you could use DK weight yarn, so that's why I'm confused. I know that like the last few rows will eat up more yarn just because that's what happens. The more stitches you add, the more yarn you use. But 
it's just I would have thought I would have used more yarn. Now technically the pattern calls for Aran weight, but it says you can substitute DK or not DK, a worsted weight yarn. Sorry. Not a DK, a worsted weight yarn. Which Malabrigo Rios is a worsted weight yarn. And I think the pattern calls for like 590 yards and three skeins of Malabrigo are 630. So I should like roughly have like 40 or 50 or 60 ish grams or yards left. So I don't know. I'm don't know why I'm sitting here and just chatting about it, but I, I mean, I do because it's vlogmas, but I'm gonna just do stitches. I reconfirm what row I need to like finish on or this pattern before I have to think about another pattern. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna work on it. I have, and see, probably I will definitely hit goal, but I'm probably gonna craft for at least another hour or so and then see where that gets me because that will set me up for a really good final two days of this challenge. Let's get to crafting. We are at 100 rows for the Lamy wrap, so it's still only 10 o'clock, so probably gonna keep going for a little bit just finished the 100 rows and this is how much I have of the first skein left. I don't think it's enough for a row, but am I gonna try? Absolutely. I just found a mistake five rows back and I'm at row 106. I thought I was like powering through to get some extra rows in tonight. <clears throat> I missed a stitch, I dropped a stitch. So that means I'm done. I'm done for the night. So we're gonna close out the vlog and uh, it was just a cozy day at home today. So um, we didn't end up going to the lights. Hopefully we'll go tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow, I will see everybody in tomorrow's vlog. Bye now.